Jolene Thornton here, and welcome back to my show, Jolene Does It, and your local RPME TV Weekly News Recap. Now, on today's show, we are going to be talking about actress Ellen Page, we're going to be talking about bats, that's right, bats, we've also got the weather uh, with Jannie Wilkes, who's returned from maternity leave, she seems to have had them one of them soap opera pregnancies. <laughs> And also, the sports with my Aunt Verlene, because Uncle Vinny is still missing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get the show started. Okay, and now for your celebrity news. Now. Actress Ellen Page, who's been in the X-Men movies and some other ones, <laughs> has come out as gay. She is a lesbian, and she didn't want to feel pressured or oppressed, and she came out of the closet because she wanted to feel like uh, that she could help people, you know, and, and be a good role model. And, hey, I'm all for that. Y'all know that. And, um, you know, I don't oppose a little... Scissor sister action once in a while. <laughs> like in gym class in high school and in prison. With your old cellmate, Big Martha. <laughs> um, anywho, you know who I feel bad about for all this? Is the actor that plays Iceman in the X-Men movies. I mean, he was um, involved with, uh, what's her name? The girl that plays Rogue. Um, and she came out as bisexual. She's in the vampire something, some vampire show, and, um, also, oh, Anna Paquin, that's her name, and now, his other love interest in the movies has come out as gay, so, is he gonna come out as gay? Hmm, come on, ice man, come on out of the closet, he's a cutie patootie, too, <laughs> and that's your celebrity news, and now, the weather with Janny Wilkes, welcome back, Janny! Jenny Wilkes here with the weather. We just got a bunch of snow up here on the east coast, and it's real cold outside. But I think spring is just right around the corner, Jolene. that I named my little girl Jojo. She looks just the spitting image of you with a little bit of my hump back. <laughs> and guess what, Jolene? I haven't shaved in three months. <laughs> but I know you said that you like your men with a lot of hair on them, almost like a big what? Big fat, big fat, big fat, piss, piss, son of a bitch! And I, I did that for you, Jolene. And that's the weather. And I'm Janny Wilkes. Oh, my dear Lord. Yeah, I like hairy men, not hairy wildebeest she beasts like you. <laughs> Thanks, Janny. And now... A word from our local sponsor. Hi, Jolene Thornton here. Now, it's Halloween, that time of the season for bats. Well, there's no need to worry. I've got Batco Bat Insurance, which only costs $39.99 a month and prevents them little buggers from coming out at you. <gasps> ah! Vampires! That's begun! I said, that's begun, damn it! You just shot me, you stupid bitch! <laughs> Woo! Well, Batco Bat Insurance, I've got mine. Have you? Where'd that little vampire go? I'm horny as a porcupine in heat! <laughs> All 
Alright, and now for world news. Now, well, it's in the United States, but, you know, it's a world news segment. <laughs> now, apparently down in Louisiana, in this apartment building, um, this woman had moved out, and then like a week later, it was invaded by hundreds and hundreds of bats! That's right, them little <laughs> flappy things! The rats with wings! I couldn't believe that! And you know what? They didn't buy any of my Batco bat insurance! And if they would have bought any one of those plans, this wouldn't have happened. The woman that owns the, um, apartment building, and if you've seen the apartment building, it looks like the whole place should be inhabited with bats. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's it's on Elm Street. Hello. And it looks a little sketchy in the neighborhood and the building. And I, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I lived in the ghetto for a while. I only remember half the time, and the other half I was handcuffed by my ankle to a radiator. It was a weird week. Mm. Um, anywho, yeah, so the bats attacked, or they didn't attack, and then, you know, the exterminator came in and apparently he said, well, these kinds of bats are like, you know, they come in droves or whatever, they hang together, and it's just crazy. And you know what he said, what freaked me out, if you see a bat, there's probably hundreds more somewhere, and all they need is like a little crevice or a break in the wall, the wood paneling, the size of your pinky, and there could be bat in there. Go figure. That's your world news. And now, the sports with my Aunt Lurleen. Hey, Annie! Oh, oh yeah, hi there, Julie. This is Aunt Lurleen with the spots. <laughs> Fancy Nancy, son of a bitch. Oh, now, we got the Olympics going on, and it's really exciting, although I think we're losing, and there's been a lot of controversy about them guys in the Olympics, and I don't know, maybe we shouldn't just have them in there, because it seems like the guys always win, especially them, them butchy Russian gals, yeah. Yeah, they's weird. Oh, but what if the American team went total gay? Then we get all the gays in there. Then we then we win all the spots in in the Olympics and look good doing it. Yeah, that might be good for the Olympics. Get the gays in there. Oh, that might be nice. Them gay fellas and them gay gals. I, I'm all for them gay people as long as they're American and they're winning the Olympics. I'm here with the spots. <laughs> Fancy Nancy, son of a bitch. Um, I don't think that's politically correct, Aunt Lurleen, but thanks. <laughs> and that is your local RPME TV news recap for this week. So I guess what we've learned is, go gay! Woo woo! <laughs> this is Jolene Thornton from my show, Jolene Does It, saying thanks for joining me, and until next time, bye for now. Thanks for news! <laughs> Ooh. A titty itched. <laughs>